right, ladies and gentlemen, we've had our opening ceremony, so now we're going to get down to the business of qualifying for this evening's Sunflower 50 Race for a Cause. We have five qualifying heat races on tap for you. The top four out of each of these heat races will redraw for starting spots in tonight's Sunflower 50. The only number they can't pick is one because the poll is up for bid to benefit VCHC, the uh, Veterans and Community Housing Coalition. And by the way, we'd like to extend a very special thank you to the Murphy family and H&M equipment as they were instrumental in having that flyover and we couldn't have timed it any better if we had tried. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get our first qualifying heat on track and ready to go. There's Dave Constantino with the number nine, the number 67W. That'll be the Welch machine. The 97T, that'll be Tanner Warner. We've got the uh, Duchesne number 25, the Weiss 79, the Ginger Ninja Jack Laner in the 91. We have Corky Warner with the yellow nice and easy number 97. And finally, we have the uh, number three up. That should be, I believe, Jesse Dumont driving the uh, three up machine. So again, these are the drivers slated to go here in uh, heat number one. Remember, top four will qualify. One to go signal being given at the start-finish line, so we'll go green next time by to begin qualifying for tonight's Sunflower 50 race for a cause to benefit VCHC. So the field will make their way around through turn number four. They'll hit the start zone. Green flag waves. Constantino jumps out to the early advantage. Welch into second. They've got a tangle up in the middle of the pack. A few cars get together and get separated. That allows the top four to break away. And that is the uh, Duchesne, number 25, trying to fight for third on the outside. Now drops back down to the bottom lane as Constantino and Welch battle it out with two laps complete. The caution will wave for the first time. That is the uh, number 79, the Weiss number 79, in trouble over there in turn number two, got up into the flowers. So that is Owen Weiss in the number 79 getting back aboard. The rest of the field will get themselves lined up here. Two laps complete so far. And our first qualifying heat event of the evening. Now, the carts that they're using here tonight, these are the uh, Northeast Mod Predator carts. They use a Predator engine that you can buy at Harbor Freight. Bolted into a chassis that is not new, and some are older than that, with the big side panels so they kind of look like a dirt modified. Cheap and expensive way to have some fun and race your friends. That's how this whole thing started. So the field doubled back up for a restart with two complete. Dave Constantino leads the 67 of Welch outside the front row in second. Jack Lehner is third. The 25 of Duchesne is fourth, holding that final qualifying spot for the moment as we go back to green. Constantino leads it through turn number two, and again, he'll come off that inside lane now, pushes out wide in three and four. Welch didn't have any room to get through. And we are again under caution as another car has found the flowers out there in turn number two. And that is going to bring the yellow flag out. It looks like uh, Corky Warner with the number 97 having a little bit of an issue and falling around to the back of the field. So again, Constantino leads. Welch is in second. Leonard is in third. One out of a transfer spot right now. That is the uh, number 97, the nice and easy 97. That is Corky Warner, who sits right now in the number five spot, one away from a transfer with two laps complete. 
And then you've got the uh, Dumond at number 31J behind, and then the cars that have been involved in some of the early race cautions, including the Trump 2024, that was the most recent caution. That is Hayden Cutlip out of Southfield, Massachusetts. As we have multiple states represented here. We are ready to go racing once again. Single file for the start this time. As they come off turn number four, Constantino will lead them down off turn number two and down the back straight. Here comes that 31J of Dumont making a nice pass on the outside of Corky Warner. That'll move him into the number five spot. Meanwhile, Duchesne down to the inside of the Ginger Ninja Jack Leonard. As we have hit the halfway point, four down, four to go. One card spun down to the infield. We'll stay under green as Constantino continues to lead Welch to shame. And now the ginger ninja Jack Leonard is on the hot seat, holding down the final qualifying position here out of E-Race number one. And something just let go on the ginger ninja's cart. Oh, and at the same time, Corky Warner gets his flowers over and turns one and two. And the caution flag will wave now with six laps complete. And folks, as you may have noticed by now, one thing about a uh, race like this where it's informal is you are your own tow truck. If you get in trouble, you get to yank your cart out of the, uh, out of the flower bed. Well, not until, I mean, we'll give you some help, but. You see our second heat is lined up on the infield pit road, and they're watching here as they're trying to figure out the fastest line around the track. The track already starting to take up some rubber. So with six laps down, we get ready to come to this restart. Constantino puts the power down. New fourth place car is going to be uh, Owen Weiss with the number 79. Remember, he had issues earlier. It was one of the first cars off the track as the white flag waves. But he's going to get a little tappy tap at the back door. And Dumont's going to go through. Still that final transfer spot. So it's Constantino with the win. Duchesne moved up into second with the 25. Welch third with the 67. And there you can see the fist pump from Dumont with the 31J picking up the fourth and final transfer spot. So that will send the rest of those competitors back into one of the two consolation races. All right. So